Welcome to Pantech e-learning. Digital learning is simplified by Happy e-learning. Today we are going to see the Power Electronics project Dynamic Voltage Restorer. This project is based on IEEE paper transaction. In this project, a series device compensation device mainly used to mitigate the voltage sags and different linear load effect on the system stability will be proposed and analyzed. And this is the block diagram for dynamic voltage restorer. And here we are using single phase inverter and PIC microcontroller as here we are using single phase inverter, PIC microcontroller and TLP250 driver unit and ZCD unit 1 is to N isolation transformer and grid circuit. For the grid circuit we are giving 100 volt step down transformer and for single phase inverter we are giving 24 volt AC as input and for TLP250 driver board PIC microcontroller and ZCD unit for these three items we are giving 12 volt step down AC as input and we can see the output visually by using lamp load This is the PIC microcontroller which we are using in this project. And this is the ZCD unit. Here we can see we need two input AC supply. Whether it can be 6 volt or 12 volt anything else. And here we can able to check the output voltage. And this is the power supply section. And these are the voltage terminals. Zero crossing director. It's a ZCD unit. A zero crossing director. It's a comparator which is known as ZCD unit in which the reference voltage is zero volt. It is also known as sine to square wave converter. And this ZCD unit is divided into two parts. One is non-inverting ZCD and inverting ZCD. Here we can able to see the difference between inverting and non-inverting ZCD. We can able to see the difference. While, while it's a positive cycle, here we can able to see the difference clearly for the non-inverting ZCD and inverting ZCD unit. Here for the inverting ZCD unit, we can able to see the input sine wave is in positive cycle. At the same time, the output voltage of ZCD is in negative cycle and for non-inverting ZCD unit the positive cycle the input is in positive sign and the output voltage is also in positive we can see the difference between these two diagrams see here it's in positive here also it's in positive that is non-inverting ZCD and for inverting the sine wave is in positive cycle and the output wave at the same time it's in negative cycle in this in this DVR project, Dynamic Voltage Restorer, we are using inverting ZCD. This is the output for ZCD unit. We can able to see the sine wave is the ZCD reference voltage and the pulse, square pulse is ZCD output. We can able to see while the sine wave is in positive cycle, the voltage will be zero. When it is in negative cycle, the voltage we can see like this. You can purchase the ZCD unit separately by contacting us. And TLP250 driver board. Mainly the TLP250 driver board is used to isolate and amplify the pulse which is generated by the controller. From the controller, the voltage will be generated up to 3.32 5 volt which is not enough to control the MOSFET switches which, are, which we are using. For that we are using the TLP250 driver unit. This driver unit will amplify the pulse which is given from the controller up to 15 volt, 12 to 15 volt without any change in frequency or duty ratio. And this TLP250 unit has gate production also. And this is the circuit diagram for TLP250 driver unit. This is the image for 
TLP250 driver board and these are the TLP250 driver ICs. See, we can clearly see the difference between the pulse which is generated by the controller and the amplified pulse which is given to MOSFETs. And these are the pulses given from controller. It will be around 5 volt. We can able to see here 5 volt and the pulse from the controller is around 5 volt and the amplified pulse we can see it's around 15 volt 5 10 15 around 15 volt and this is the main circuit diagram for dynamic voltage restorer in this part we will use one single phase inverter and 1 is to n isolation transformer and 100 volt step down AC transformer for grid circuit and this is the grid circuit which consists of one inductor and one load resistor and here we are using the MOSFET IRF 840 here from the output sine wave we are connecting the 1 is to 2 isolation transformer which is used to compensate the voltage to the grid circuit and across the load we will connect the lamp This is the total hardware for dynamic voltage restorer. Here we can able to see this is the grid circuit which we are using and this is the 100 volt step down transformer which is used to power up this main grid circuit and this is the single phase inverter. Here we will place 24 volt step down AC transformer and this is the 1 is to n. Here we are using 1 is to 2 isolation transformer and this is the isolation transformer and this is 12 volt step down transformer which is used to power up this TLP250 driver board and this PIC microcontroller and ZCD unit and here across this load we connected the lamp load now we can briefly see the working of this project this is the total hardware for DVR dynamic voltage restorer and in this we are using PIC microcontroller, TLP250 driver unit, single phase inverter circuit. For single phase inverter, we are using 24 volt step down AC transformer. And 12 volt step down AC transformer for SHCD unit, TLP250 driver board, and for PIC microcontroller. This 100 volt transformer will act as a AC grid to power up this main circuit and this is the 1 is to 2 isolation transformer this is a CD zero crossing detector is mainly used to find the positive and negative cycle when it reaches zero to find zero voltage we are using this is CD unit in the positive cycle and negative cycle, whenever the voltage crosses zero, to find out the zero voltage, we are using this ZCD unit. To compensate the grid voltage, we are using this external power supply. To compensate the to compensate the grid voltage, we are using this external voltage from this inverter. Now I am going to turn on this ZCD unit and pick microcontroller as well this TLP250 driver unit yeah. we have connected the ZCD unit to the PIC microcontroller now the TLP250 and PIC microcontroller and ZCD unit turned off but the pulse is not given to this driver board ZCD unit is connected to this controller if we on this controller which is connected to ZCD at that time, the pulse will be generated to this TLP250 driver unit. Now, I am going to turn on the pulse. We can able to see. This LED will glow when I press this button. Which is connected to ZCD. See. Yeah. Now we can see the ZCD unit pulse. This is 
is the ground pin for voltage regulator and I am connecting this probe at EZCD unit. Now we can able to see the pulse which is generated by EZCD unit. This is the pulse for EZCD. We all know that from the controller it generates up to 5 volt as a pulse. In this controller, 15, 16, 17 and 18th pin is generating the pulse. Now we can check the pulse across those pins. This is the 15th pin. We can able to see the pulse on DSO. It's around 5 volt. And this is for 16th pin. And this is for 17th pin. And this is for 18th pin. Now we can see that. TLP output files which is fed to this MOSFETs used in this single phase inverter circuit. Now I am connecting the probe across this center diode. Now I am connecting the probe across this center diode which is placed on TLP 250 driver board. This is the isolated pulse which is fed to these power devices. We can see able to see the voltage. It's around 15 volt. The 15 volt in the pulse is generated when the ECCD unit is turned off. If we off these pulses, it won't be generated. We can see that. Now I am pressing the switch. Yeah, there is no voltage. There is no pulse in this driver board. If we on the EZCD unit, we can able to see the pulse. Yeah, here. Like this, we can check all the pulses. This is also around 15 volt and for next one These are the pulses which, is, which are fed to these power devices Now I am going to power up the single phase inverter circuit by turning on this transformer Now I am going to turn on this main AC grid voltage. Now we are going to measure the voltage by using multimeter. We can able to see the voltage on this. Eighty five volt, we can able to see. This is the input voltage. Now we can see the output for the load, which is around. Now we can see the output voltage across this connector, which is connected to load. It's around eighty three volt. Now the pulse is not given from this controller to this volt. Now the pulse is not given to TLP250 driver unit by the controller. Now I am going to turn on the pulse given from ECCD unit and controller 
to fit into single phase inverter. At that time we can able to see the voltage will increase. Yeah, see the voltage. To see, to check the output visually we have connected the lamp. We can able to see the lamp glowing. While laughing, we can able to see the variation in the lamp. While giving pulse, we can see another variation. If the ZCD unit doesn't work, means you can connect the AC grid voltage by changing by interchanging that. Like first we connect like this. We need to say interchange like this and we want to connect. At that time there is no voltage. Now I am connecting that properly. Now we can able to see the variation. Now the lamp glows. Once I will show the variation on lamp clearly by turning off the lamps. Yeah, now the lamp is glowing. Now I am pressing the reset switch. At that time we can able to see the voltage decreases. And now I am interchanging this and connecting. We can see the mild variation on this lamp. If we give the pulse, the voltage will increase. At last time we have checked with this multimeter. Now we can see visually. Now I am going to give the pulse. We can able to see the variation in this lamp. We have checked the mul we have checked the output voltage by using multimeter. We can check by using CRO or DSO by anything also. In our side, DSO will work around working the voltage around 50 volt. It's around 100 volt. That's what we didn't show the waveform by using DSO. Specification: In this project, we have used PIC microcontroller, TLP250 driver board, record numbers, and ZCD unit, and 12 volt step down transformer for driver board and ZCD and PIC microcontroller and 100 volt transformer for grid circuit and 24 volt step down transformer for single phase inverter circuit and here we are using one lamp load also and we can provide do it yourself package also in, do, in DIY package it consists of PIC microcontroller, project coding, ZCD unit and 1 to 2 isolation transformer, TLP250 driver unit and 12 volt step down transformer Record numbers. Transformers may be varied according to their voltage. 2 pin power card and GP board, IRF840, grid circuit, bridge rectifier, capacitor, lamp load. And we can provide the guidance up to 2 hours. For testing this project, we need multimeter, CRO or DSO, soldering end. And we will provide the simulation file for this project and hardware also and we can provide the internship classes everything for those you can contact our mail id and the mobile number which we have given thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel and we will put update on daily daily basis you can purchase the simulation file and hardware projects to know about more details you can contact pantakilearning.com thank you thank you for watching this video